Okay, so welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, we are back with Daymare 1998. We're on part seven. I had to actually look it up at what part um, we got to. Uh, lost track of it for a second. So when we left off, we uh, were Sam. And we were making our way along the path that Raven um, took. But we did it in reverse to get to uh, head towards Hexacore HQ. Um, and so we, we did that. Now this chapter is starting off with... Um, with Raven. Uh, sorry, I forgot his name then for a second. Um, and we're basically going to mosey about this HQ. Sorry guys, my, uh, my brain is not with it this morning. Um, right, so let's... let's uh, wait, my TV's too big. There we go. Every time I change channel. Uh, right then. Um, right, resume. So, if you guys recall, we have barely any ammo. <laughs> uh, well, we've got a lot of hollow point, to be fair. We've only got mostly... So we're using our stun um, shotgun shells at the moment, which are absolutely naff. Um, and let's see. And hey, guys. If you are in the chat, don't forget to say hi, you know? It's always nice to hear from you guys. Um, so let me just make sure this is all good. Oh, try again. Oh, go away. All right then, so we're gonna look around first because we kind of didn't look around last time. Which we, we, we should have done, just in case. One sec, guys. I need to turn the volume down on my TV here. Because it feels like it's echoing through a bit. There we go. Right. So, we got alarms going off everywhere. So, the entrance is to the... Oh, sugar lemons. So if you guys have been watching the... Hey there, dude. Nice to see you chatting there. So we, this is the entrance we came through. No. When we first came in, these doors were locked. Now we knew there were zombies behind the doors. Because we could hear them. Uh, so if you guys have been following the videos, the stream so far, you'll know that the hitboxes are... A bit naff on here. Yeah. Um, so, also, apparently they can survive several shots to the head. Um, right, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna check out the offices. Grab some water, you know. Um, let's see. Okay, what are you showing me I can pick up? Oh, are you... Oh, the, I think that button that keeps popping up is just... Yeah. It's just where the doors used to be locked. Let's see if I can grab it. Yeah. God, I nearly shot you, bro! Oh! Energy drink! Yes! Please! I don't have that much health. What's that? Epinephrine. Uh, 30 odd percent health. We need more. The bathroom? Any oh. Wanna pick up mental drops. Oh. We're gonna use those mental drops, actually. They help us find stuff. Nope. Oh, so that little static means that there's a little... 
Is that him? Yes. Little icon over here. Little, uh, little statue. That's the collectibles in this one. Hang on. Did I go in this room? Yeah. Try not to go too far ahead. Yeah, of course. Bro! Die! Shut you in the throat. So we really use that on you. Awesome. Okay, can I use the elevator? Dude, I already shot you. Stay down. Alright, so... I think the elevator is, like, that way. But we're gonna go check this out. Oh no, these are the elevators, okay. Um, we're gonna ignore the elevators for the moment. Server room. Bugger all in here? Oh, no. Yes! Override cable. That's our hacking tool. So, let's see. Um... Might use that one. No! Very suspicious about elevators, especially in horror games. Because you know, you open that door and they're gonna try jump scare you. You know? And we got our half hour long friggin' loading going on. So. One morning, for anyone who hasn't been following the stream so far, um, this game, if you do hear any um, sound irregularities, it's not the stream, it is the game itself. Same as the subtitles don't always match with uh, what is being said, because I do have subtitles on. Um, I mean, especially when playing a game, you know? Hello? Okay. A nice wide area. Oh, are you gonna come alive? <gasps> oh, I think. I think this is where... This. Yeah, I think this is... No, can't be. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> fella. Yeah. Ah! Oh, you turd head. Yeah, that acid is a real bugger. Oh, flip. All right, where am I? <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? Yeah, we gonna back it up here. I need to do this quick because it doesn't pause. Damn it! Ah! Oh. I didn't know which way I was facing then. Oh, anticipate a lot of dying in this episode. Oh. 
Oh, oh, come on! I need to find a room. I need to get into a room just to friggin' uh, use my energy bar to get some health back. Alright. Hide in this little creep hole here. You, sir, a douchebag! Switch to hollow point in a moment. Hello? Any zombies in here? Yep. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, I don't want to play with you. to a health thing. Damn it. Oh my god. So close. Yeah, because I need my shotgun shots for that feather. Come on, bro. Because that is the save point. Come on, how much health are you going to give me? I reckon maybe about 60. I'm lucky. 52. Yeah. Right, these are all the ones that I've handed in. So if I swap to this, I'm going to have that, that, I'm going to trade it for that. There we go. 
we've got some ammo there. Look, dude, are you dead? I'll open that up in a minute. Like I said, little stack. Is it above me? What is it? Well, I'm gonna assume that's it. No. So it says it's in here, but I can't. Ah! I propose we steal all of this junk. Look, guns, ammo. Why can't we steal it all? Stamina fluid, of course it is. There we go. We're going to swap to that one, just simply because it's got more. That's good. Right. Save again. And I just pick up. Oh no, I might have just picked up a tape, is all. I don't listen to the tapes. Right, come on, let's go. Hi! Hi! Ah. What? You're stuck on a chair! And really, one hit, one hit killed me. Are you kidding me? I'm at 52% here, people. What is it? It's just stamina. Alright then. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> That was the game that lost the uh, sound there. Oh, jeez. Twelve percent health. Brilliant. Just what we wanted. Save though. I don't want to fight that thing again. Hate the acid ones. Uh, dude, they are very stingy with ammo. Um, and yeah, they don't, they don't like playing nice. So there are three characters that we're currently switching between and trying to remember who has what. Wow, big speakers. Someone subwoofered their, uh, their building. Right, okay. I'm gonna grab that. Oh.
Dying? You going down? Yeah. Timber! What's this say? Stuff. It's a diary. Why would I edit an email that's been uh, not been sent? Seriously. Oh. Oh, I saw something moving. Oh. Okay, it's glass. Hey, buddy. Um. Mental drops. There we go. Sorry, but I'm really tense right now. Let's see. Send it. Send it. This poor person wrote their diary. You gotta send it. So I'm guessing then we need to take the left turn up here. Treatment room. I don't know who's gonna stand up. Yep, they're gonna stand up. Right, that one's called Dave, and this is Julia. Dave and Julia are now passed. We have to affection. Oh, look, she even had a grab over. Oh, I mean, Julia, well done. Respect to you. You know, have a grope when you're dead. Uh, right. Oh. You know, in those operating tables in the, in the uh, room. Great. Stasis tanks. No. Don't want to go there yet. Okay, so just go see who's going to try jump out at me on this end. Okay. Shooting you? Die! Of course you got up. Your name is Lucy. Lucy. Ah, your bendy neck, Lucy. God, the boys must love you. and go back and go up those stairs. Because <laughs> that back there, that looks like a boss room. I don't go play no bosses yet. It's elf. There's the boss looking room. Come on, you can't tell me that does not look like a boss room. <coughs> oh! Dude, are you alive? Are you alive or are you a zombie? I mean, you're kind of twitchy. You could have just had too much coffee. I mean, you don't look all blooded up like everybody else. Of course. We gotta go to the boss room. You're gonna set something on me. Which room was I going? This way. Right. 
So I'm trying to figure out if noise is coming from me or outside my house. <laughs> of course, cutscene. Oh no! I can't stop the system! The process is wrong! Oh, oh shit! What? Hey, hey, there. Hey, hey, there. There. It's going to take me a few minutes to unlock. I'll do my best to get you out, but you've got to hold that monster off. Can you hear yeah. me? Hold that goddamn thing off! A few minutes? I don't think I have a few seconds! See, Raven gets it! That's who we're playing, by the way. His name's Raven. We're gonna run around. We're gonna look and see if there's any health. Like a Looney Tune, you know? We're gonna ignore the big fella behind us. Ah! I can hear him running behind me. Go away! He said to hold him off for a few minutes. Nobody said I had to shoot him. Oh, no. Bro, I've got some more over here. Woo. Ow. Are you kidding me? One shot. Ah! <laughs> like, seriously? Are you kidding me? We're gonna skip because we already know that we're stuck in here with this fella. <laughs> yep, nope, that was a bad idea. Right, what do I have on me? Can I combine any of them? Well... Yep, I'm gonna run. the health. I had the health last time.
My bad. Oops. <laughs> I was a little bit too close that time. Where the frick was that health gone? Oh, it was on the side, wasn't it? Uh. Ah! What? See, now, uh, power? This is, um... Yeah, this game is a little... And relenting sometimes. I don't know if you've noticed. This is gonna be a see I told you all though this is a boss room. And you don't upgrade your weapons or nothing like this game. this time what the frick sorry guys oh <gasps> Deal was that I stay alive for a few minutes. I 
can hear him really close. That's why I'm not stopping to shoot. Let's go, Doc. You said a few minutes. on top of that electric thing that might do a fair bit to my mind room. Maybe. Let's have a look. Shotgun 50 Predator 50 AE. Yeah, I think that's a magnum that I kind of never picked up. Doc, you better give me some answers. Christ. I thought you were I going tried to running, die dude. in there. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mason. 
Dr. Mason, I work, or rather, I used to work in the treatment room. What was that thing? One of your lab rats gone wild? Well, you should know, of course. That thing is, or better yet, was one of yours. One of mine? What the hell is that supposed to mean? The CSR-03s you your unit was transporting last night game. spread to the city, wiping out the entire population of Keemsight. Each afflicted subject reacted differently to the effects of the toxin. As a matter of fact, the leak was so prolific that it even reached the dam, trapping many of Hexacore's own and transforming them into ungodly monsters. Prior to infection, the members of Haiti stationed there were administered an experimental additive that increases both oh, physical so that's why and some of mental like capabilities. But as a side effect, it seems to have generated some rather unusual varieties of, of form when combined with the toxin. Like Cut that. the bullshit. I put down some of those Haiti things already, and they're completely different from what you don't get it. Not long ago, an Alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team. Meaning what exactly? By the time Alpha team arrived, something had literally torn the survivor to shreds. But he wasn't quite dead. The bioscanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation. <gasps> and oh my god! That's why the big shots were to me that, recover the that, specimen for hours uh, back at HQ. But what they found was something nobody expected. Oh my god, did Both I just kill Pastor Leave all Pollux over again? Flourishing in harmony. Good! The two viral agents had twisted together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new. Wait, are you saying that that thing out there is Leave? Oh my god. Where did it go? Uh oh, wait, what? How the hell what? did he it get just loose? Dead. I know it! Shit! You can't stay here. Come on, Doctor. But there's no stopping it. Don't you understand? Get the hell out of here, boy. But you don't have to. Listen, I'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad. Then I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! But there isn't any other way. Go on, get out of here! God, that that's a that's a plot twist and a half there. There's no time left. I have to reach the helipad immediately. I hope I'm not getting fucking dumb. I'm gonna put some of those in there. What's that? Um, oh, where is it? Um, where is that? Where is that? Because I can't use those. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Screw it, we're taking our hat cable with us, just in case. Ah! Back out, I need to save. Go. Thanks for holding the door for me, my dude. We'll call you Henry. Henry, I think, just got up again. Oh boy, oh boy. stuff here, grungy stuff here. Ooh. Let me hack it. <laughs> Yo! 
know what? Screw it. We're running. We're gonna chill. We're gonna take that time. Oh. I am God running. Damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. Y A X A Y. Come on. Ah. What? But 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 what? So I can't get past him. Okay, so I guess I gotta stand by the door and try to dash. Because he's just casually strolling. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. Okay, there's a good one. X, Y, A. Go. Here. What do you want me to do? Yeah, we're gonna casually stroll. Run, Raven, you numbskull. We being chased here, I don't know if you noticed. Admittedly, he was running very slow, the other guy, but. Um, open some doors. Come on, what am I waiting for? Really, do I have to, I don't have to wait to get a fucking door to open. Yeah, chill for a bit. Let the fella get up this way a bit. I wonder if we've got enough time to paint our nails, do each other's hair, you know? Let's get him to inch over this way so I've got a bit of room. Oh, that door is open. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Time to stop and chat. Oh! Okay, I, I I'm definitely sensing some sus going on here. Cause you all saw that, right? He just. Popped up out of nowhere. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately.
Oops, that one. So, turns out he, he, he's got a bit of a grudge with me. <laughs> I mean, that boy can run. <sighs> God damn it, this I thing's unstoppable. So well. I gotta get out of here immediately. This thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. gonna put me I feel like they're gonna put me all the way beginning again and before anyone asks there is no evade or anything you can just sprint that this is this is our sprint God damn it, this thing's unstoppable I gotta get out of here immediately
Shotgun bro, I know you're around the corner. Hmm. Right, um... Do I seriously have to stop him at each one? God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. What do you think I'm gonna do, Raven? I wonder though, because I did really well last time. Um, where I do that, I back up in here and then go around him down that way, get him to follow. Unless that was like just a damn it, this thing's <laughs> unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. But he caught up really dark. Run back down the damn hallway.
Yep, now I've got to run all the way back. Just play Ring Around a Rosies for that little frickin' pillar. Ring a ring a rosies it is. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. That easy, dude. Wait, stop. Slowing him down. Doc, you could be shutting these doors behind me, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Things unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. Stupid elevator!
thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. Why does he only feel the need to try to start chasing me from that corner? I got the head. It's We could outrun him, didn't it? This thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately.
really don't. I could have grabbed it, but I didn't. After narrowly surviving his last confrontation with the monster who was once Special Agent Leave, Raven finally reaches the rooftop of the dam where he prepares to contact Sandman. Once a self-destruct device is initiated, he won't have long before the entire edifice explodes into a thousand pieces. Good! What's the, penny, what's the, what's the betting? Leave still lives. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Still need a help. This is hell. This is hell. This is hell. That works. It's mixed, so we'll take it. What's the bet we have to now fight Sandman? Because he's all mutated and stuff. Let's wait until this finishes uh, healing us up, shall we? Ninety-two. I can. I can go with that. Major, I'm on the roof of the dam. The citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's foobar. No survivors. Oh, leave! No. There's no way. Leave. Leave it. Stop until the end. Raven? Raven! Respond, goddammit! Uh, Sandman, I, I'm kind of busy a second. You're gonna have to wait. Shotgun, though, is this one over here? Oops. My bad. At least I know where ammo is. <laughs> Jeez. 
go get that health. I'm gonna need it. Because we can sprint, but it does take stamina. But we don't want to go in there with this little health. Do 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 do. <coughs> Man. See, it says the cable will snap and you'll have to find a new one. Well, that's great, because even if you don't fail, you've still got to make a new one. Because they're only one use. Let's let let's go in it with at least fifty. <laughs> See, I keep on expecting him to say stars behind me. Should have backed up some more. This, uh... 
this distancing thing is becoming a bit of a pain. A sec. We don't need to use a shotgun to get this. No more booms, so I'm gonna have to again. Nope, wrong ammo. Nope, wrong one.
want to play roundabouts. Just to get rid of the fucking extras. Okay, I don't get it. I've blown up all the goddamn things. So Again. Let's get these edge ones, because these are the tough ones. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? My gun wasn't even out. You're on your
find a doorway that we just can't fit from shooting from there. Sound drop, like I said, guys, it's not the stream, it is actually the game. So now I just got Big Boy to play with. Ooh. Come on, bro. That's my hollow points there. Going down then, bro. I need to get more ammo. This. All right, bro. We're going for a walk. Let's go. bunch of these. Still play Ring around our OZs for the power again. We're gonna go the we're gonna go the um Nice one, kid. 
You ready to put the shithog in a fucking coma? Major! Major! That's hard to believe. You could've come home. I didn't think leave could get any nastier than he already was. Come on, we need to get out of here. The dam's gonna blow. Right, we better hurry. Hit it! Uh, uh, Raven, go get out of here! Uh, uh, no. I won't leave another man behind. Not like this. Motherfucker! Not today, kid. Not today. You've already risked your life far too many times. This time, only one of us is walking away from here alive. Come on. The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. Did you? Where's Leaf? <coughs> Where? Oh no. Sorry to disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. Wait. What? Did that to you? That fucking guy! Don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! He turned me into this freak! The antidote! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! Are you alright? Did it work? You bastard! You remember me? You... You mass-murdering piece of shit! I will never forgive you for taking her away from me! What? What the hell Dude. are you? Drop your gun right now! You fucker! You killed her! Why?! What did my baby ever do to you?! Hey, whoa, whoa, calm down. Too many people have died already. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this, this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? Huh? I was there, soldier boy. I saw what he did to her. My baby. Now, I suggest We're you get the fuck the out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Go stand down. It's you, isn't it? Samuel. How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know is that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. Your wife, she was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck, baby. While you just stood by and watched me die. No, that's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! Sam, baby. Are we really gonna argue over semantics? <laughs> just look at yourself. 
you're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want. Shut That's up! That's all you ever want. Shut the fuck up! Just shut your mouth. Sam Hillai. Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word! These people know everything about you. Fight it, they Samuel! They used you for their advantage. No! They this isn't them. real! You She's dead! Any property. Don't listen to her, Samuel! The you were born. Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah! No! Who shot? The digging kneecaps! No! No! No, they can't end just like that! No! no. Disappearing Who died? The surface no, 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 who, who shot? Come on, just get the cutscene there. Because I can't, because otherwise it'll copyright. Um, Flip, come on. Is this gonna tell me? No, it's just a necklace. That's her necklace. Is she gonna come back? That's the arm, isn't it? <gasps> she was one of them! She was one of the agents in the lab. He took her, her, her little chip. Wait, what? Oh, who who are we? Are we are we the cleaner? <gasps> oh, I gotta say, I am I really admire the cleanliness. Of Gene this. signature confirmed. Welcome back, sir. Boot up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report K seven three one. Personal code. FG 9565061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. But wait, does that mean Sandman's dead? I erased dead? all traces of K's involvement. Hexacore Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap okay. in keen sight. Because that was Lee. Good job, sir. No, you you got to give me these answers. You can't leave me hanging. Let's go see. Can we can we pick up any paperwork? Any? Like who's the cleaner? We don't even know who this cleaner is. We just know he's the narrator. Oh, are these gonna be the free? Oh, I reckon Sarah's one of them. Following Middle materials archive. Evidence number one. HAF4R8. Evidence number one. HAF4RG0 Delta surveillance footage. Let's play it. Right, so that's Raven. No, that's Leaves. No? <gasps> oh my god! So Leave wasn't the bad guy! Evidence number two intercepted voice messages of Major Sandman Vulcan. <gasps> voice message with encryption code XDR00. Sarah, I would have liked to speak with you in person, but I'm afraid that's just not going to happen. So this is it. The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now i got to prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you, but mostly prove it to her, my precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the Aegis Labs to recover samples of Castor and Pollux. After which, you know what I have to do. Oh my god, boy. Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. I know. 
So many innocent lives lost to save just one. But Wait, she's my baby girl. Missile? So listen up. I want you to leave Keen Sight, you and your Samuel, and get as far away from the city as possible. The gears of destruction are already in motion, and nobody can stop them now. And even if they could, I wouldn't let them. So, if one day my conscience does feel a little less guilty, it'll only be because I've not only saved my daughter's life, but yours as well. I know you know what it means to truly love someone with every fiber of your being. And the choices you gotta make to hold on to that love, to be with that person and share one last day, one last minute, one last tantalizing second. I couldn't live with myself knowing that I didn't step up and do something, even if it means burning in hell for eternity. That should come easy compared to a living hell without her. Hope one day you can forgive me. But if you can't, saving Samantha will be enough. Evidence number three, Sarah Carmichael's recording to Sam Walker. Come on, play, play. Sweetheart, I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie, especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they. I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life too. <coughs> What's happening one way or another was inevitable, but at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it. How anyone could have done it. Even him. Especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu. Hexacore. Damn you both to hell. Oh, Christ. We're just a bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. What I wanted to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest with you. Beneath this city, behind your disease, lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner rather than being obliged by this tragedy, but I couldn't and wasn't ready yet. I was afraid of how it might affect us. Sorry. 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 It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies. Oh my god, she was head of it all? Of our most important tests. You. 
For decades now, our government has been experimenting in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and Keen Sight is one of the most illustrious testing zones, with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You and hundreds of others like See, you I knew he was are one of the, the end result of these tests. And we've been tasked with keeping you babies. in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me. Because... Because I actually fell in love with you. And it wasn't just a job for me anymore. So when someone asks if I love my work, I tell them, yes. Thanks to you, I do. And maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before. And more importantly, I would never leave this place without you of my own free will, if given the choice. She was gonna leave without Hold me. on. I hear something. There, there's somebody out there. So wait, why did someone kill her if he was protecting Evidence her and told her to leave? ID tags on Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetic Supervisor, code 27. Finally did it. I'm finally in charge of one of the most important research studies in the country. It took years to perfect the Truman Project together with those yes men at Hexacore. Maybe longer still to convince that Washington DC dinosaur Murphy to put me in charge of the whole operation. Due to their backwards way of thinking, I was either too young or too girly or too black. But in the end, they had no choice but to recognize the crowns of my achievements. In another 30 days, I'll be transferred to Keen Sight. And from what the company tells me, it'll be a one-way trip. Just maybe that's what excites me the most. I've only been here a few months, but I think I've already tucked myself snug as a bug into this rural community. Sometimes I feel a bit sorry for the people of Keen Sight, or maybe it'd be better to refer them by their proper names, guinea pigs. Other times, I envy them, their simple small town lives filled with small town values. After all, the company ensures they're safe inside their giant petri dish, closed off from all the poop of the outside world. I like to think that I too have helped create a sort of paradise here. Or perhaps another circle of hell. I'm still not sure yet. The most difficult part of the Truman Project is officially underway, or at least in regards to my active role in the field. All the researchers stationed here must have frequent contact with the subject in order to control it, and I'm no exception to the rule. Indeed, I'll have to lead by example. At any rate, tomorrow I'll meet my special to be monitored, and judging from reports, it's clear that this one will possibly be the most important part in the whole study. I'll have to be on my best behaviour once again. Meanwhile, I've been scratching at my arm for days. Just because everyone got the same chip integrated into their arm doesn't mean it's a good thing. After all, we're researchers, not the guinea pigs the government is experimenting, experimenting on with the programme. Fortunately, however, there are rules of the game and I can't back out now. Oh Jesus, I haven't felt this good in years. The Truman Project is proceeding as planned, not to mention the experiments too. I just can't hide my excitement thanks to the work I've been doing on my subject. That being said, this isn't exactly an official report. I could say my subject, Sam, for short, the person I've been tracking and recently approached. Well, I'm starting to think something peculiar is happening. I know I shouldn't get this attached, but the company asked me to get closer, so... And the heart wants what the heart wants, right? Where's the harm in that? With the recent transfer of high-level personnel to the new office space atop the dam, we find ourselves butting heads with the men from Hexcore's special units. Mind you, Hades agents look like rock-hard war machines who seldom interact with anyone outside their circle, and the HAF pilots seem to be normal kids despite the demanding tasks the company often gives them. Though one in particular seems to be catching the attention of the office ladies. His name is Hayden, although everybody's been calling him Sandman after the mishap in Groom Lake. I have no idea how he made it out alive, but I'd like to know more. <gasps> Wait, so she was with Sandman? 
Hayden, what an extraordinary man, even in the face of the difficulties he's endured. Somehow I got him to open up about his past again and discovered that his wife left years ago because she couldn't bear the weight of his job. She even left him to take care of their only daughter, baby Samantha. I really feel some kind of connection to this man, so much so in fact that I'm feeling exactly what I'm feeling for Sam. How am I going to deal with this? Only time will tell. I should probably just concentrate on my work. Oh, so we got a love triangle. I thought I could handle it. Instead, I wish I'd never gotten involved in this pile of poo. I've been working on the Truman Project for the company for four years now, but it looks like this isn't going to end the way I thought it would. We didn't come here to improve people's lives. We came here to test weapons of mass destruction. If that weren't bad enough, even though we've signed away our lives to these hexacore buggers with their government backing, they still won't lift a finger to help us. Any of us. Hayden told me his daughter's contacted a terrible disease and requires an experimental treatment that the company just won't cover. That's why he's been so distant these past few months. I want to do something to help. I'll always feel close to him. Forever. In the meantime, at least some good news comes from all this. Sam asked me to marry him. A beacon of hope in all the darkness that surrounds me. A reminder that there are more important things in life. Now I know whom my heart belongs to, and I need to devote my life to him. I need to do my job as effectively as possible to make him feel better. I didn't want to believe it, but Hayden asked me to meet him just outside town to reveal a scheme. There isn't much time left to save his daughter, and the only way he can do it is by committing an act so utterly despicable it borders on nefarious. It seems that Curonosus, Conorosu? An international pharmaceutical company made a deal with Hayden to save his daughter in exchange for the destruction of hundreds, if not thousands, of lives, along with Hexacore as a whole. Worse still, it'll bring our government to its knees by revealing the truth about experiments on the American people that have been going ongoing for decades. He must have lost it, completely freaked out. Nothing, not even the loss of a loved one, can justify such a stupid and reckless decision. I'm pretty sure that those buggers are using him. I just don't understand why the hell he doesn't see it. I need to talk some sense into him. I'm sure there are ju these are just the words of a desperate father, but if he doesn't listen to reason, I'll have no choice but to report him to the company's internal affairs department, though I don't know if I could live with what they would do to him. Hayden left the base and took a few days leave. Sadly, his daughter Samantha didn't make it. Her little heart gave out just two days ago. I feel sorry for him, but this could be a blessing in disguise. Now he won't have any reason to enact the nefarious scheme of his. From what I gather, he's got a long journey to the medical centre where she was being treated. Though I'm sure he'll come back soon, and when he does, I'll be there to support him in whatever way possible. But, but that, that's not how it worked. She did live. He kept true on his promise. Yeah, 57 deaths. <laughs> oh, flip. Wow. Oh, where to start? Um, flip. Uh, <laughs> one, they start off with, they, they, they left us on that cliffhanger. You know? Who shot? Who didn't shoot? Did anyone actually die? Um, And then that whole revealing that Sandman was actually the bad guy in this. I did not see that coming. I mean, Leaf was the open a-hole from the very beginning. You didn't want to like him. You know, his his personality, his behaviour, just his simple face makes you want to punch him. You know? So I think that's what made it so easy to believe that he was the bad guy. But from that first video we saw, he's the one who attacked... He's the one who was actually protecting what we were transporting. Sandman was the one who flipping went and tried dropping it all. Flip. Maybe he thought that the... the uh, Pollux and stuff would save his daughter. You know? Um, 
Damn. Um, and then like Sarah, our wife, the one that we were like so angry about Sandman killing. I mean, did did Sandman actually kill her? <gasps> oh, maybe that's what she was. That's maybe that's why he accidentally hurt her because he said he never meant to hurt her intentionally. So. She said in her little her little email diary, whatever, right there, that she was going to blab on him if he went through with it. And he did go through with it. So she was probably going to tell him. She probably told him, I got to report this. That's probably why he killed her. Like, you know, lost his temper. Like, or, or maybe she told him about his daughter dying. I mean, that would make a lot of people flip. You know, both re well, even both reasons, you know. I mean, he's not he's not going to be in control of his senses, you know, because, I mean, both things are going to make somebody go loopy for a second, you know. Um. Oh, but damn. And the, the fact that they both knew each other, you know, and she was going to leave Sam. She was going to leave him behind. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This has been a bit of a roller coaster just at the end there. Um. Wow. Um, so I know... Flip. I'm just still surprised, stunned by all that. Like, you know, I was going to say surprised, but it's past that. Um, the game. Let's start with the game. Um, story was great. Loved the story. Especially that plot twist at the end there. Um, game itself, they... It, I think they need to update it, make sure that the lip sync and the subtitles actually work together properly. As you saw, the the cutscenes were a little jumpy, which I'm surprised at for an Xbox game. You know, I'm on the Xbox One and that's where it's for. So I'm surprised to see something so jumpy. You'd expect, expect it for something like the PlayStation 1 or 2. You know, but even they ran smoothly. Um, like, so, I will say that's the only thing I got a pro Well, one of the few things I got a problem with is the correlation between the lip syncing and the, the subtitles. And just like the, 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 like at the end there, you saw the voices weren't matching up with what was happening on screen. Um,. But, um, you know, and the fact that they keep turning off your torch and putting away your gun each time you have to reload your checkpoint. Um, I think those are the only two, few, two issues that I've got about this game. It's a pretty darn good game. And I mean, you guys saw the difficulty of it. And that was on normal difficulty. So you can just imagine Daymare. Um... I know that they have Daymet 1994 coming out. Um, I'm not entirely sure um, when it is, but I know they've announced that it will be coming out. Um, so, and I think that one's going to be targeting what happened with Baby Raven. Maybe I haven't really looked at what the story for that is meant to be, like the basis of it. But I mean, we know that. Raven had that accident, and I would have assumed it was in 94. So it could explain how they got to where they are. Um, the switching between characters was a nice little touch. Because, I mean, you end up shooting everything anyway. Um, but yeah, damn. I did not see that ending coming. And I really want to know who gets shot, or who, like, you know, it, or if it was just a, a misfire, you know? Like, he, they, they, they could have shot Sam in the kneecap to make him go down. You know? Explain things to him. But then the cleaner's like, everybody who knows about it is dead. Or, or gone. Or maybe he thinks they're gone. I don't know. So many questions. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. And the whole series of this. Um, so... I mean, it's been a bit of an ups and down. A lot of uh, raging going on with all my multiple deaths. I think one of my episodes, I just spent nothing but dying. Um, but uh, if you did, hit the like and subscribe button. And if you really liked it, check out my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, and hit the like and subscribe button over there as well. Um, 
so that if I, <coughs> when I upload videos and they're no longer on Twitch, you'll still ha you'll still be able to see them. My YouTube details are in my Twitch bio if you want to take a little look. Um, and yeah, a flip. I need. I think I need to recover from the story now. You know. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, but bye for now. Flip.